Let's begin by settling into mountain pose and finding a steady breath. Shift your weight to your left foot and pull your right knee up towards your chest. Engage throughout the grounded leg and core. Lift the chest and draw the shoulder blades down. Release with control and repeat on the other side. Release with control. Shift your weight to the left foot and draw the right foot back, holding onto it with your right hand. When you feel steady, raise your left arm up overhead. Keep your bent leg in near the center line of your body. Option to lean forward from the hips to dancer pose prep, drawing the right foot back, pulling on the right hand and opening up through the right side chest, being sure to keep your hips square to the mat. Release with control and repeat on the other side. I'll turn here so that you can see the pose from a different angle. Release with as much control as you can. To tree pose on the right side, open up from the hip and place the sole of your foot against the inner part of your left leg. You can keep your toes grounded, place the foot against the lower part of the leg or against the inner thigh. Avoid placing your right foot against your opposite knee. Now, press your right foot into the left leg and the left leg back into the right foot. Engage your core, lift the chest and draw the shoulder blades down and back. Find a focal point that's not moving and slow down your breath. Release and repeat on the other side. Release and make your way to the front of your mat. Inhale arms and gaze up to upward salute. And exhale down to forward fold, bending your knees as much as you want to. Inhale to halfway lift. And exhale, return to forward fold. Inhale to standing, arms overhead, clasping at the elbows. Side bend to the left, and then to the right, and then one more time on each side. Inhale to upward salute, and exhale to forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, and exhale forward fold. Step your right leg back and out so that your feet remain hip width apart instead of one behind the other. Carefully make your way to high lunge, arms up overhead.
shift your back foot to warrior one, grounding the heel and slightly turning out. Keep your chest square to the front of the mat. Opening up to warrior two, you can widen your stance, front toes pointing to the short edge of your mat and back toes to the long edge. Open up through the left hip, keeping that front knee in line with your left toes and not turning inward. Your hips should be level with each other. Engage the legs and core, lift through the chest, draw the shoulder blades down and back. Arms are parallel to the floor at shoulder height as you reach equally through both hands and through the fingertips. Gaze is over the middle finger of the left hand. triangle, shorten your stance if you need to. Straighten your left leg, reach forward, then fold at the hip, gently resting your left hand on your left shin, ankle, or on the mat beside your foot. Try not to lock the left knee or put pressure on it with your hand. Right arm is reaching up towards the ceiling, chest is open, gaze is ahead of you, or up toward your right hand. Place your hands on either side of your left foot, turn the right toes forward, lower the right knee, top of the foot, and inhale arms up in low lunge, making sure that your left knee is lined up over the ankle and not ahead of it. On an exhale, twist to the left without folding forward. Release on an inhale, drawing your arms up. And exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Curl the back toes under, lift the knee, step the left foot back to plank and lower with control to your belly. Place your forearms on the mat, elbows lined up under your shoulders and lift your chest to sphinx pose. Keeping your shoulders down, neck long, gaze forward and toes pointing straight back. Lower your chest and press back, making your way to downward facing dog. With your fingers spread wide, press the front of your mat away from you as you pedal out your heels as deeply as you want to to stretch out the back of the legs. Gazing forward, step your right foot up beside your right hand, then walk it in between your hands, making sure to keep it hip width apart from your back foot and not lined up in front of it. Inhale to high lunge, arms up overhead. Shifting to warrior one. Opening up to warrior two, making sure your front knee is lined up over the ankle, pointing forward and not inward, and that your shoulders are stacked above your hips, not leaning forward or back. To triangle, straighten the front leg, reach forward, then fold.
hands to either side of the front foot, back toes forward, lower the knee, top of the foot, inhale, arms up in low lunge. On an exhale, twisting to your right. Inhale, arms back up. Then exhale, hands down to either side of the front foot. Curl the back toes under, lift the knee. Step the right foot back to plank. Tiptoe forward and lower with control down to your belly. Place your forearms on the mat, elbows lined up under your shoulders and lift to Sphinx Pose. Lower your chest and press back to Child's Pose. Big toes together, knees together or apart. Option to rest your arms alongside the body. Come up to a tabletop position, knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders, core engaged. Send your left arm out to the side, then needle it under your right, coming to rest on your left shoulder and side of the head. Try to keep your hips squared to the front of your mat. Press through the right hand to release, and then repeat on the other side. Return to a tabletop position, then step your feet back to a plank. Keep your right hand down and open up to a side plank. Gaze ahead of you or up towards your left hand. Coming through plank to repeat on the other side. Return to plank, then press back to downward facing dog. Raise your right leg to a three-legged dog, pressing through your fingertips, reaching long through the toes. Bend your right knee and open up your hips to the right side, allowing your right foot to fall back. Squaring off the hips, pull your right knee forward to pigeon pose. Your right knee should be in line with your right hip, left foot off toward the left side of the mat. Keep your hips square to the mat as much as possible and get long through the back leg, pointing your left toes straight back and in line with your left hip. Shoulders down, get long through the neck, then exhale using your hands to guide you as you fold over your front leg, bringing your forehead to rest on the mat or on your hands or forearms crossed beneath you.
Use your hands to press up, then make your way back to downward facing dog. Pressing the front of the mat away from you, fingers wide, raise your left leg to three-legged dog. Bend your left knee and open up your hips to the left. Squaring off the hips, pull your left knee forward to Pigeon Pose. Press up and make your way back to Downward Facing Dog. Walk your feet up to a forward fold, then bend at the knees to come to a seated position, legs extended ahead of you. Inhale, arms up overhead, then exhale, hinging from the hips to a seated forward fold, bending at the knees as much as you want to. Coming back up on an exhale, draw your right knee in toward your chest. Hug it with your left arm as you reach your right hand down to the mat behind you. Keep your right hand close to your body and use it to help you sit up taller, lengthening through the spine as you inhale and getting deeper into the twist as you exhale. Release and repeat on the other side. Release and make your way down onto your back, knees bent, feet planted, hip width apart. With your arms at your sides, squeeze through your glutes and raise your hips up to a bridge and hold. Release down to the mat with control. Draw your right knee in toward your chest, then extend your left leg out long. Bend the left knee and slide the foot back up. Grab onto your right big toe, extending the right leg straight up and toward you.
Lower your right foot down to the mat. Draw your left knee in toward your chest and extend your right leg out long. Bend the right knee and slide the foot back up. Grab onto your left big toe, extending the left leg straight up and toward you. Lower your left leg and hug both knees in toward your chest, rocking a little from side to side. Lower your feet back down to the mat, then extend your legs out long, arms resting at your sides, palms facing up. Find a comfortable position, then scan the body for any tension and try to release it. Slow down your breath as we end in Savasana.